This video is about how you can start digital marketing yourself and grow your business. Hello everyone, my name is Loveto Nazareth and I have been a digital marketing consultant and an industry expert for over 20 years now. Through these years, I have not only had the good fortune to run amazing digital campaigns for my own brand and my own company, Prism Digital, but I've had the good fortune to work with amazing companies and the biggest brands across the world. And I've helped them develop campaigns that have driven their sales and leads by 10 times. If you search on Google, you will find testimonials of my clients that are very clearly very happy with the work we do. Now, these are million dollar brands and without uh, a modicum of uh, modesty, I constantly put out content that I know will benefit small business owners or individuals that want to learn about digital marketing for free. So if you want to learn about digital marketing, then make sure to subscribe to my channel and click on this little red button at the bottom to be notified every time I put out new videos. So before we go any further, you need to realize that growth is an amalgamation of really small continuous efforts. So if you are a startup and you're not able to invest a huge amount of money in hiring a digital marketing agency to look after your brand and grow it, nurture it, then this video is for you. I'm here to help you start developing and kickstarting a digital marketing campaign for your business. And the best part of this is that by the end of this training seminar, you're going to be able to do it just by yourself. Now, if you like the content that I put out, don't forget to hit the like button. So I am motivated to make more of such videos for you. Do subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to be notified every time I upload a new video. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. What you will get out of this video is very simply, you will be able to apply the simple fundamentals to your digital marketing solution in real time and watch your business grow. All right. So with, without any further ado, let's get into the video. Now, the first thing is you need to know what is digital marketing. Now, a lot of you do have an idea about digital marketing, but this segment is for the ones that don't. Let us first understand the basics. All right and the various factors that come under it. Digital marketing is exactly what it sounds like. It is marketing online or promoting awareness of your products or services and its benefits to your potential customers over the internet. Now this can be done organically by creating content about your business offerings that compel your audience to share that content or by placing advertisements on the internet that compel your viewers to take a desirable action. For example, either visit your website or start a free trial or watch an informational video. The options are unlimited. All right. Digital marketing is one big umbrella with a whole lot of digital services following under it. However, the three most common ways people and like you and me, uh, obviously, consume information over the internet are through one emails number two search engines like google bing yahoo etc and then number three is social media facebook and all their all the other social medias now that you know exactly what is digital marketing let's dive a little deeper into some of the digital marketing basics and channels that you must invest in for a successful digital marketing campaign. Number one, your website. Did you know that over 75% of people who have interacted with your business 
come to your website and judge your company's credibility based on your website design, these are actual factual numbers given to us by Alexa. Your website stands as the face of your business and makes the first impression. So it's up to you to better make that impression, the first impression count. Your website is arguably the best marketing asset as it acts as a direct inbound marketing tool. Now I say this because it helps drive leads, business, sales by bringing customers to you through the company created content on your website. So your website is actually like a sales guy that attracts customers to your business. However, having just a website is not enough. In order to make your website leave a lasting impression, it needs to fulfill these five points. You need to take this down and make a very careful note of it. Number one, it needs to be fast. Website speed can be a large factor to track bounce rates. Now, what is a bounce rate? When a customer comes to your website, he looks at it for a few seconds and jumps off to your next or back to the search engine. This is because every single visitor needs to see something happen on your website within the first three seconds they land on your site. So I always recommend to my clients that any website loading speed should be between three to five seconds. No one's going to wait for you or your website to load after five or 10 minutes. Absolutely not. Okay. Second, it needs to have an easy to use design featuring your contact information. For example, your, your website design needs to be neat, easy to navigate, and it needs to add value. Now, the basic reason a web, uh, visitor vis visits a website is to get more information of a product or service that you're offering. Therefore, always have your content information uh, and your contacts visible right either at the top and the header or in the bottom at the footer of the page. And make sure the contact information is interlinked with your email service provider or your mobile service provider so they can call you. What I mean is, if someone clicks on your email ID, they should be straight away redirected to draft an email. Or if they click onto the phone number of or the address or even a WhatsApp for business icon, they should be redirected to the either maps or to the WhatsApp interface. It Now the third most important part is that needs to be secure. Your website needs to be HTTPS instead of HTTP. Now, we all know the dangers of visiting unsecured websites. And Google very proudly shows you if your website is secured or not right at the top left hand corner of the menu bar. So therefore, to avoid bounce, it's very important to make sure your website is secure with an SSL certificate. It needs to be mobile friendly. Now, mobile friend, uh, front friendliness has become all more important. Uh, since the last couple of years because mobile traffic is now 90% of the kind of uh, traffic that is on across the internet. It's not easy for it to be just mobile friendly. It has to be SEO optimized. Now, SEO is a method of ranking your website and making it visible on the first page or the first position of Google. Now, I have a separate video that talks specifically about SEO because it's a very important topic and it's a pretty long drawn and lengthy topic. So when you talk about SEO or search engine optimization, this is what SEO can do for you. Now, here's the formula. Increased ranking gives you organic traffic, more organic traffic. More organic traffic equals to more calls. More calls or increased calls equals to more sales. The more sales, the more profits. So just think about this. When your website is ranked number one on Google, you get 377% more visitors to your site than the guys on the second page or the third page. All right. Now, have you ever searched for any website on the fourth page of Google? Never, right? That's exactly what I'm talking about. There's a very cheesy uh, comment among us SEOs that the best place to hide a body is the second page of Google. 
That means in order to stay relevant and reach your potential customers, you have to rank at least on the first page of Google. You might not reach number one, but at least you have to be on the first page of Google. Now, this is not rocket science, and I can tell you exactly how you can achieve this. Now, Google has search engine crawlers that speak a completely different language that we do. They speak in code or HTML. Now, what we do as SEO is to write clues for these crawlers in the language that they understand. It's basically like you're watching a Korean film, but you understand it because of the subtitles. Now, there are numerous signals that these crawlers use to determine what the web page is about and how much content or quality content there is. So what search engines look for in a nutshell, number one, secured sites. Number two, mobile friendly websites. Number three, quality or keyword rich content. Number four, page speed. Number five, user experience or UX. And number six, a schema markup. Now, this might be a lot for you to take on, but I've created a separate video about SEO in which you can find out the latest trends in SEO. Please do go and check it out. I've, I will attach a link to the top left corner of this uh, video. Now, another very cool way of communicating with your clients is email marketing. I don't know if you've done an email marketing campaign, but did you know that email marketing has an average ROI of 4,400? Basically a return of $44 for every dirham or a dollar spent. If done correctly, email marketing can help you grow your business tenfold. It's a simple, easy to use and one of the most cost effective marketing strategies. For starters, for example, let's say you're an e-commerce brand. Okay, and everything depends on your conversion. Video in an email or emailers can help you increase conversion by more than 25 to 60% through weekly promotional emails, which will actually help your customers get acquainted with the products that you're selling. And it will also serve them as a weekly reminder to buy the products that you're actually pushing out there. Now, this can be organically done. It can be done through automation where your website knows what kind of products to upsell to your customers based on their particular search requirements. So say, for example, you have an e-commerce website, right? I am a customer looking for a mobile phone. Your website is selling mobile phones as one of the many things that you sell. How cool it would be if that when I come to your website, your website automatically realizes that, hey, Levetto wants as looking out for a mobile phone. And when I register with your website, it sends me an email straight away telling me that, hey, these are the mobile phones we have. And just to make it uh, the deal a little sweeter, here is a discount code for you, which is a 10%, 5%, whatever discount code that will actually make you go and click on that link go to the website and buy almost immediately. These are little impulse buys that really work. All right. Now, having said all of that, social media is probably the biggest thing that you should be focusing on. If your business really does not have a social media page, what I would suggest is stop, stop this video right now, go and create a profile and then only watch ahead. I cannot stress on the importance for your brand to have a social media presence. You not you, you don't have to be on every social media. As an advisor, thumb rule, the go where your customers are. If you feel your audience base is between the ages of 20 to 38 and are mostly on Instagram, great. Go to Instagram and build your presence there. Since at the end of the day, you have to cater to your audience needs. S similarly, if you're, say, for example, a B2B company, a lawyer, medical service, or any PR or service or anything like that, if you're a B2 com B2B company and you're targeting other businesses, LinkedIn and Twitter are your best platforms for you to choose from. Now, aggregate wise, the top platforms for social media marketing are YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn. Twitter, Pinterest, Snapchat. These platforms will help you communicate 
your message better but you need to choose the platforms you want to engage with very very carefully because once you're on that platform it's essential that you start engaging very very carefully and more importantly you have to plan your presence in a way that before you start digital marketing you need to know who you're talking to you need to know your audience you need to know the customers that you want to target you don't want to just go in heads first without actually understanding where and who you're going to communicate to now understanding this will com convert your digital marketing strategy and ultimately pave the way to fulfill your long and short term goals so one of the first questions that you need to ask is number one who is my audience you know, your audience, you need to figure out based on age, gender, geographical location, what are their motivations, what are their challenges, what are their personal interests, shopping preferences, or anything you feel is specific to your ideal customer. Now, apart from understanding your customer, another useful exercise is to identify the customer you don't want to target or you don't want watching your marketing content that might inadvertently attract them to make you uh, them a follower of your page now the reason is because you don't they don't fit into your profile you don't want to spend your marketing dollars attracting them now so now that you are well versed with the various tools you need to kickstart a digital marketing campaign let me take you through the various ways you yourself can start digital marketing your brand and grow your business. So are you ready? Let's get right in. Another very cool thing to do is to create blogs and post high quality content regularly. Not only does building a noteworthy blog in your industry or niche help drive traffic by piquing the interest of Google, but it also leads to creating authority. This is a definitely long-term strategy. It's not a short-term one and it won't pay off overnight, but every entrepreneur needs to understand the importance of embracing content marketing as one of the most effective tools for online marketing. Now, you might say that my writing skills are not that great or I have not done it before and all of these excuses are absolutely valid but i would say that you need to start somewhere at the end of the day your content should be relevant and easy to understand and add value to a client so if you are a subject matter expert for example if you know about networking for for that matter if you own a networking company and you know fantastic things about networking create a blog and put out content about networking even if you're a beginner you can take to help from tools like grammarly uh, there are other writing tools out there that you will help you get a lot of content and you can write these blogs then once you've written the blogs you have to publish them obviously you can publish the blog onto your website and then use other websites like quora or medium push content and people interested in your particular content through a backlink from Quora into your website. Now, how since we're talking about marketing your content, so since we're talking about this, it's very similar to what I've all or, and what we are doing currently. So we write content about a particular topic and then we address these particular content posts through questions in Quora or Medium or something like that. All right. So people keep on asking questions and I am personally creating a platform like Quora where people can talk only about digital marketing and it's going to be called uh, the Digital Panda TV. But till that website is up and ready, uh, I will be posting most of my content on Quora or Medium or something like that. All right. Now, when we do that, what we do is we create a link from the article that we've posted on Quora into our blog. And you can do the same thing. 
So basically, all the people that come in from Quora or when they search for some particular thing about IT networking, they go to the Quora blog. When they read your answer, they click on a blog there and come back to your website. Now, another very cool tool to do this is uh, groups on social media. Now, Facebook groups and LinkedIn groups essentially are clusters of people all with the same interest or the, all with the same mindset coming together to share information and resources. Now, these groups, they have to be relevant though, are the best way to connect with your audience or niche. For example, if you are a baker and you like creating amazing cakes, there are so many things, uh, so many groups out there that promote uh, bakers and confectionery artists to come and show their work and a lot of people who are interested in buying cakes go there on search and choose the best cake provider and contact them you can get leads from facebook groups a lot a lot of people have uh, like these used group uh, used products or used goods uh, sites where people share or barter stuff leverage that information another leverage is to leverage the power of influencer marketing now let's not lie we always buy products or go to places that are suggested by our favorite actors or we go to uh, clubs or restaurants that they've visited before now as a startup i know that it's going to be very difficult for you to say partner with a very established influencer that charges a couple of hundred thousand dollars to put one post out but for starters you can shortlist a few micro influencers now micro influencers on facebook or instagram are people that have got not millions of followers but maybe a hundred couple of hundred thousand ten thousand twenty thousand active followers and then you can share a barter with them saying that okay fine i will give you certain products in return for positive reviews and so on and so forth you can dm them and you tell them that hey these are our products. If you're interested, I can give it to you. And in turn, you do, uh, you model in them or you take a picture with our products and put it, post it on your thing with a link and a unique um, sales code or a coupon where your, your customers will get a, a discount. If you're a restaurant owner, you can always connect with famous food bloggers or influencers in your town or city and invite them over to the restaurant to try your specialities. And then they give their honest opinions. Obviously, if the food is good, they will have fantastic raving reviews about it. Obviously, if the food is bad, you're, you're dead in the water. All right. But it's always important to do that. You need to post quality content regularly on social media. And since we are talking about social media influencing, social media can drive a lot of traffic and make or break your business, even from a negative perspective. So if your business has a negative reputation on social media, chances are people will not come to your site uh, or, or restaurant. If your restaurant has a really bad rep and a low ranking and rating, you will not get it. So ranking and rating is also very important. All right. It's important and vital to understand that the people who follow you on social media are the ones that are most interested in your brand. They are looking to get to know your brand better and therefore based on your product or service offerings, you need to be putting out content. For example, if you're a dentistry clinic in Dubai and you've got a thousand followers, you can put out content relevant to oral hygiene, how to tips on how to maintaining or uh, to maintain good oral hy hygiene or oral health you can put out content like client testimonials or people who have said wonderful things about your work now if you put irrelevant stuff out there people will realize and they will quickly realize that you're putting rubbish content which is not really valid and unfollow you you don't want to do that you want to add value by putting out content which is relevant to their needs so say for example you're putting out content about tips for business then great your uh, target audience needs to be people who are interested in business either primary business owners or secondary people who are interested in opening a business now another thing to focus on are long descriptions keep your descriptions short short is always sweet now if you're a confectionery brand you can always you know talking about sweet you can always use a very friendly tone like hey guys hey what's up those kind of things but if you're a lawyer 
or if you are a professional services B2B company, then it's more important to be very formal and professional. Hashtags are also very important. Hashtags play a vital role in aggregating content and arranging it and customizing it for your audience. From a user perspective, hashtags allow people to find posts that are relevant to their interests. So on Instagram, if you see at the end of your post, if you put relevant hashtags, people who are searching for those kind of things will come onto your page and start following you. Reviews, I can't stress this enough. Collect as many reviews as possible. Reviews not only have the power to influence consumer decisions, but can actually strengthen a company's credibility. Reviews have the power to gain customer trust and they encourage people to interact with the company. We have a 4.9 out of 5 uh, review rating with more than 50 reviews already. And this customer interaction ultimately leads to improved profits because when customers see that on our website, they say, wow, this is a well-recognized firm. They are a trustworthy firm. Let's contact them. So 90% of our clients have come to us because of they have seen our reviews or they have seen our testimonials on Facebook, on Google, on Google My Business or on the Maps section. One very good way to gain reviews is after your customers have made a purchase either through email marketing or a simple direct message and draft a message along with the link to your reviews page. Ask them to go ahead and fill in the review. In fact, if they give you a positive review, you can actually reply them with a discount code so that they can get a 50% discount or something free at your restaurant, something like that. This is one of the most effective ways to generate reviews. Now, the more, the better. But remember, don't fall, fall a trap to f companies propounding we can get you hundreds and thousands of false reviews. The false review is the worst thing to do for your own digital marketing. Now, if you're talking about from a digital marketing perspective, you need to have emails, right? As a business, you need to have a branded email signature. One of the simplest ways that you can market your business online is using a branded email signature and using a signature or an email which is based on your company's domain. Don't send emails from Google or Hotmail or Yahoo or something like that. I've seen so many lawyers have a Yahoo or a uh, Google account and they are lawyers dealing with high profile clients. It does not suit them because they are a B2B business. Now, for a personal thing, it doesn't make a difference. But if you're a company, make sure you have an official domain and an official email. Now, from a technical perspective, let's get technical here. It's very important to have a website that is AMP rich. Now, let me explain what is an AMP page. Now, an AMP page is an accelerated mobile page. Okay. Accelerated mobile means that when you have an AMP page on your website and a customer comes on that website from Google, he picks up the phone, he looks at that website and he sees a page that loads within milliseconds. He is so impressed by it, therefore he reads more. If your page is not an AMP page, means that it's going to take at least three or four seconds longer to load as compared to an EMP page. So obviously make sure your business website has AMP in it or is AMP enabled. Now, if you don't know what is AMP, send us a link and we will uh, send us a message or comment at the below and we'll send you information of how to do AMP pages or we can ourselves help you to create an AMP page for your website. Okay. You should also use rich snippets. Now rich snippets are things I've done a separate vlog on that. Rich snippets offer more information uh, on directly the Google interface and users are most likely to click on it and therefore come to your website. Secondly, Google promotes rich snippets. So if your website has rich snippets, Trust me, 
this will go to the first page of Google and your business will grow in leads and number of clicks and conversions. Now, but rich snippets and SEO is a very technical topic that I'll handle completely. I've written a blog about it. You can check it on our blog section of our website. But um, if you want more information on, on it, I would absolutely love to have a Zoom call and I can share that information with you separately. Another very, very good way for B2B marketing is to contribute with industry specific forums. Now, some people get this whole concept wrong. It's not about joining and dropping links and just spamming people. If you do that, obviously you will not get any work. So say for example, you go on to LinkedIn, it's a public forum and you join all these groups and all you do is keep on posting random promotions, discounts, things. People will say, okay, this guy is not a serious person and drop you. So you are not adding value to that customer's experience. Your job is to add value to people's experience. Therefore, you need to interact with industry leaders, make suggestions, add value added content, and then they will follow you and uh, you know add value to your business. Now, you can also post a link to your website, maybe after a couple of posts. The first post is always important. You can also co-sponsor an award or giveaway in a contest. That's another way to market your brand really fast. You can co-brand with other brands that have got a huge following and say that, hey, I'm going to, I'm happy to give a gift if you co-sponsor your thing with me. And then people should come to your website or a social media page, like it, and uh, then they would be enabled to participate in the giveaway or a sweepstake. Now, if you are trying to contact professionals, then LinkedIn is your best friend. You need to be able to contact them on LinkedIn without spamming them. You need to invest into low budget ads on Facebook, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn. Three things very important for, now I'll get into this a little in depth. Now I understand as a beginner or a startup company, you might not have enough funds to carry out huge marketing campaigns. But what if I told you that just a small amount, a couple of hundred dirhams or say a hundred dollars can go a long way if you actually do it right. Now, to be really frank, we have actually created fantastic leads for clients with as little as $200, which as little as $100. Now, it depends on how fast you convert the campaign and how long you run the campaign for. You can make use of Facebook to create a target audience that best suits your business requirements, and you can start running small business ads. Now, I know at the start, this might be a little difficult, and, you know, I'm happy to help. I can, I can offer my services for absolutely free to help you grow. And if you want, please contact me on the numbers and the links uh, given below in the description. If you need help with running your own Facebook marketing app, just comment below and I'm happy to help you out with it. So in conclusion, I hope by now you have understood how you can start a digital marketing campaign by yourself and grow your business offerings. So if you like the content I put out, like and share this video with others who can learn and benefit from it. Until then, work hard to get what you want or else you'll be forced to like just what you get. Take care, stay home, stay safe. I will see you with another episode from The Digital Panda. Thank you for watching.